Hello there, this is Bic Benedict. We are playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition on Dante Must Die difficulty. We are using Virgil, as you can plainly see here, and we're going through the campaign without using items. So I do want to mention that this whole guide is all finished now. This fight is not that bad, actually. It, it seems like it was uh, tailored for this character, ironically. But when you drop him like this, just make sure you do a couple of the... Uh, the Dragon Breaker uppercuts and then distort that with the Devil Trigger as I've been mentioning and then on the cusp of that uppercut when he is um, when he's staggered in the air continually do the Lunar Phase attacks and it's actually a comical sight because he keeps spinning and it's a really great tactic and this guy admittedly he's harder than he was before and it is a nuisance to fight this guy just watch out when he drops because he's gonna hit you with the blade on the ground I I fought this guy for about five times and then I got in a victory without using items. It's not that bad. And then when those when those things close in on you, those spikes just jump right right as they're closing in on you. So this is what I'm talking about. Uh, do the Dragon Breaker uppercut and then distort it. And then you'll see as I uh, combo him in the air. Well, I couldn't do it right there. Sometimes what will happen, you guys, is that he will uh, put his shield up. And I think the reason for that, actually, when I'm looking back at it now, is that... I was comboing him in the air before I, I was attacking him on the ground, so I had stayed out my welcome as far as that, but anyway. I will have some more I will have some reflections after this fight, but I, I do want to talk about how we're doing this here. He's got he's got a shield which breaks really easily with this weapon. And even if you don't have the devil trigger, still do the just still do the dragon breaker because you can uppercut him and then combo him in the air. So it's just a continual chase in the air for this guy. Use the lunar phase too. And even for somebody like me, who's not an expert at these games, I was able to take him out without using items. And that was a, a cleared campaign without using items. I, I realized I didn't have the title card in the last video to confirm that I, I didn't use items. But I was only briefly playing on it, and you could see clearly that I didn't use items. And I actually went through uh, all the bosses. They're, they're simple. They're, they're not that hard if you just use these techniques. So I wouldn't be lying to you about it either. So it looks like he's dead. We're going to take him out, finish him off. And it's kind of funny because since this character doesn't have a traditional buster, you don't have to do the part with, with uh, that Nero does at the end where you buster the savior's attacks. Like I think you have to buster it twice or three times. And then you get this, which I, I believe was in the main campaign, but I don't think it was in this venue here. So I have a minute and 25 seconds to be with you guys finally to do some final reflections on this game. I want to say that it's it's an unmitigated masterpiece of one of the highest orders that I've ever seen. It's got unrivaled caliber. And if a game ever came out that was even half as good, as, good as this game in this day and age, I think we would be in for an extremely a welcome surprise because, I mean, the director of the second one made this game, so he definitely made up for what he did. I mean, he, he paid for his crimes against humanity. So I just want to thank everybody for watching. I will I will be pumping these videos out two per day so that everybody can have these and that they're relevant and I can get my name out on YouTube. And then we'll, we'll see the God of War 3 remastered pain plus guide. It might be a pain run. It might be a pain plus run, but it will be some form of pain. And we can just kind of pray for me, I guess. We don't need it. So we have 30 seconds. I do want to I, I do. I just, I just want to warn everybody if you have your speakers up. In the next clip, I have the, the decibel level to, to plus 12, so just watch out for that, especially if you're wearing headphones or if you're blasting this music, because it's really cool music and I wanted to have it up all the way. So just watch out for this next part. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and I really hope this is all helping you, and I will see you in my next project. We're just going to finish these scarecrows off. Take care. Hey guys, I just wanted to have uh, some closure to this video by uh, posting an epilogue to the guide. 
and I just wanted to uh, just to show off these rankings that I have for the total ranking. Um, however, this isn't no means a way to or some kind of a mechanism for me to show off because if you look at these listings here, there's nothing to show off. These are horrible scores. I, I never even got a I got an S in a single one of these. So, um, so I do have one in, entry for Son of Sparta, and then the rest I have all notated for Dante Must Die. And I, I wanted to do this for three reasons. One of which was to have closure. Secondly, I wanted to clear up something for this mission here when I was looking at it for video two, and also for mission nineteen because uh, about five or so minutes ago in the video timeline I mentioned that. I didn't, uh, or that I neglected to put the ending score screen for uh, video 19, and um, I just wanted to, to post that one on here. So, so for mission one, um, all I care about here is that I see that no item there. So the only thing about this guy is that I, I'm going on to mission two, and it says gold orb, and I have on my phone I have the video uh, a snapshot of it for video two mission clear screen and it's not the same as what it says here on on my screen on my phone it says no item continues but no item and the only thing I can think of is that um, possibly I did this subsequently to the guide but this screen here is not the same clear time I, it's not the same style points and it's not the same amount of orbs on the actual video that was in the guide, I picked up all the orbs. I got an S rank, 100% of the orbs. I had uh, 1,345 stylish points, and I got a D. And then my clear time was 28 minutes and 28 seconds. So you can actually confirm that if you go back in my playlist and click on video two and go to, go to the end of it. So something is is definitely not wrong. It's definitely wrong. So this screen here does not represent this. This has nothing to do with the guide. This one. There's no video editing, there's no treachery, it's just one of those things that it just doesn't make any sense to me. So, I mean, if you saw, there's no, there wouldn't be any hiding the use of a gold orb because the person would fall over dead and then he would just get revived in a flash of light and it would be very obvious. So, you know, my integrity is important to me and I, I just, I don't, I don't, I can't account for what that, what that is. So, otherwise, mission three, no item. Mission four, no item. And again, this is just for verification purposes. No item, Dante must die. No item. Uh, does it? It would be nice if it said which mission it is. Uh, but this is mission seven. I mean, it should say mission seven on here, but it doesn't. So there's no item. And these all should say no item. No item. Mission 10, no item. Okay, here's mission 11. We took a C, no item. Mission 12, no item. Triple A's right there. Um, no item for this one. No item for that one. No item. Chapter 16, no item. No item. Uh, this one was the savior level, no item. And then the next one, that video was cut short because I didn't put the boss rush on it. Because I don't, I don't agree with it. And so basically, I only showed you about like 10 minutes of my, my gameplay. And then the rest of it, I just didn't film. But... There, there always is the possibility that the pe person that you're watching his guide, they could be lying to you and, and just say that they didn't use any items. So I wanted to verify that this is what happened. That was the remainder. I did it actually pretty quickly for how long that level is. Uh, but there is the the scorecard that I I just I simply neglected to put this on, um, and the reason for that is because it was um, it was just a different um, it was just a different formula of that I was doing it that day. And I just, I didn't finish the mission, you know, on camera. So there, there, there you have it. And then the final mission, you've seen this one because I put this on the screen already and there's no item. And then, um, 
I'm not going to play any of the other modes because I don't I don't play those. I, I'm only interested in this one. But I wanted to thank everybody very much for watching and for your support, for tolerating me. And I suppose on these games, you're only going to get as good as you possibly can be. I mean, there is a plateau where you just don't get any better. And I don't think I'm there quite yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm nigh approaching it, definitely. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think there is something wrong with being con continually negative. So I know I've been very negative on this guide. There's been external factors, too, with my family members and things like that. And also, I just wanted to finish this as quickly as possible because I didn't want to have this unfinished while I was trying to, to do the God of War guide. So that should be... Um, it's just, if Chaos's mode is not, not locked, then I can start the guide immediately. If it is, you're going to have to wait a week. I'm sorry, blame Sony Santa Monica because they don't seem to care too much about it when I ask them on their Twitter account. And that's it, you guys. I just wanted to thank you uh, once again, and I hope that my efforts here help you seriously to beat this difficulty mode because it's it's definitely not as hard as... There's nothing harder than Devil May Cry 3, but it's definitely... It's just... It's not the nightmare that game. That It's still a nightmare... But it's not the, the living nightmare that the third game is. Take care.